Look at those blue skies. In January. Oh my gosh, what a great day. A great day to go thrifting and junking and picking. Matt's ready to get started and look at that ad at the front. Yellow tags are a buck. Take note of this because today, oh, I get something for a great, great price. Matt, you're interested in this alligator. Well, I don't know if it was a clacker, but it had like a an electric uh, uh, symbol on it for approval. I didn't anybody see recognize it? Does I'm anybody know what it is? You. Is it part of a lamp, perhaps? I don't know what it is. It was fun, you know. So, so go ahead. Oh, we're moving down here through the glass section here. Yeah, I don't have to find a whole lot of stuff in the glass section. It's just kind of meh, you know? Well, Not really exciting. If you're a college kid, you know. And, and you, you need, need some, yeah, yeah. This is where you go. Unless, you know, your name starts with G and you find a beautiful floral G oh, monogram mug. I thought that was a goat on the end of it. I guess what? I was wrong. It's yeah. a G. Look, there's a pumpkin one. I never saw that one. And the polka dots. Oh. And a rabbit. How did I miss that? Money I was looking rabbit. up here in the corner. I think I saw another cool mug. Oh, yes. Mary... Your Florida mug is calling. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Florida. Yes. I like this design here. I'm, Pure one. You know, I see designs and I'm drawn to them, and then I turn them over and they say Pier One. Like, I just must love all their designs. There you go. Yeah, I love the colors. How did they ever go out, out of business? I know, it's kind of sad. Anybody else miss? But there you go, Pier One oh, for 49 miss those cents. Stores. I know, I think they still maybe do online, though. Whoa, what's going on there? I know, I'm like, what the That's heck? Your... That's Yul Brenner back in the day from The King and I. Scandalous. I didn't even see that plate. That plate's oh probably my. worth some money. Really? Yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, yeah. That is Yul Brenner from The King and I. I just don't know if I brought that home and hung that on our dining room wall. If did you ever forgive me. <laughs> did you ever watch uh, when you were a kid? Did you ever see like the Easter, uh, uh, the Ten Commandments? They always showed the Ten Commandments on TV, the movie. Yeah. Well, that he was with the pharaohs. Son, oh. Moses' his brother, oh. same guy. Oh, okay, so, yep, I gotcha. So the plate before that was a from Italian. Italy, yeah. yeah, but it was just poor quality, right? Yeah, we left it there. Yep. This one was cool. I like the colors on it. I'm all about the stars, the sun, the positive vibes. Yeah, but isn't that hand paint it? Yeah. Yes, dad. By on. not the company, but by whoever had the plate. Yes. I thought it was maybe a, uh, like I like the flowers on here too. I really like that plate, but it was a hand sponged on. So when you saw it up close, it just was like lacking the, uh, yeah. the precision and just the, you know, the polished look that you want it. Yeah. So yeah, I left those it are, there. Those are kind of cool. Those old TV trays. Yeah. No. Throwback to the past. I was going to say, does anybody ever use TV trays anymore? I mean, I'm sure they do, but randomly. But... I had one when I was a little kid. It, it was a Pac-Man one. Oh. And I, Saturday morning, I made sure Did I had you my Pac-Man really? one out. Oh. And I watched Pac-Man. I had my Pac-Man cereal. That's fun. Yep. I had my Pac-Man mug. <laughs> I picked this up here. Okay, you came later, and I think you found the second one here uh, with me, but I was like, ooh, a unicorn. I think it's like a donkey. Is it a unicorn or is it a donkey? It looks like a donkey. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little pink, you know, on, on the horn over here, and uh, yeah. It's your rodeo. You can do whatever you whatever you want. <laughs> That's rad. So I almost took this home. I was wondering would my shipping labels fit into this, but I think they're a little bit bigger than this box. I thought take it home, paint it, distress it, you know, seal it, and then that would be fun for the office. But I just don't think they made shipping labels that small oh. when it was built. That was the other one, was it? No, this is me. This is me taking the taking oh, okay. one. You you come. I think at this point, maybe you met a friend in the aisle. Oh yeah, I was talking to a former Marine who's now a uh, Sergeant First Class in the Army, and we were just talking about our old days at Twenty Nine Palms. Catching up. <laughs> so just remembering the stumps. Ah uh, yes. So I, I kept moving ahead here, looking through the wooden pieces, seeing if there was anything to paint or already painted. Um, there's a bunch of the wooden Amish cutout figures here. These were cool. That was kind of neat. What were those, coasters? Yep, just coasters. Yeah. Some jewelry boxes. Jewelry boxes are awesome for gifts if you ever want to paint them and fix them up and give them. I loved these flowers. That but was super shiny. Yeah, it looked like maybe a dog had um, just 
He loved them too. <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> I really like the old faded bird house. Yeah. I love you. I love flowers. <laughs> it's beautiful. Who doesn't love a good vintage bird yeah, cage? But birds, it was really dusty. Did though. you see the bird? That little metal thing matched the bird on the no. picture. No. Did you see this? That was too much. <laughs> I looked at it and I walked away. It yes. was a soap oil. Pump. Yeah. Yeah, it was a soap pump with soap in it and a glass slipper. With no, but that one had oil. I think that was like along the lines of the macaroni <laughs> pasta oil thing. <laughs> Matt, you are capable of amazing things. I am. You've already seen them. <laughs> so checking out the corner over here. Did, this was Le here. I, I, I was really tempted to get this. I debated it. What a horrible long required reading book. I could see somebody liking that. I don't think we ever read that. Well, I did in high school. I just put it on my shelf as a reminder. I never want to read it again. Really? Yes. Isn't there a movie too? Y yes. Is it? Isn't it one of the classics? It's a play. Though? They, it was a novel that became a play that became a movie about the play. Oh really? Okay. Yes. So People were really bored in the. You're 1800s. not really inspiring me to uh, to watch it or. You read just it. you go ahead and you knock yourself out. Tell me what happens when you get to about page six hundred. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody still, read it? Made it past page six hundred. And you still have about three hundred pages to go. No. Yes. Okay. Forget so, that idea. Just, yeah. So all kinds of little knickknacks here. There was a shoe here that was kind of cool. Oh yeah. It's kangaroo there. I wonder if that was like a Holland mold because it kind of looked like that clock that I picked up. Yeah. You know that clock frame? Yep. It wasn't marked or anything. It was right. just a little slipper. Isn't that funny that there was two little shoes there? Just I was like that. more interested in the little kangaroo there holding something. Oh, I must have missed the that. kangaroo. It was right beside. He was there. He was like right beside the shoes. the toothbrush holder. Nope, nope, nope. Keep on moving, Sonia. Yeah, but it's sucking you into that area. There I like you go. the butterflies. This yeah. was nice. If these were like paper, yeah, paper butterflies. Paper mache. Yeah, no, not mache. Just they're just like look like three D. Okay. But if they weren't torn so much, I would have I would have took that little decorative piece home. I like the colors on that. Mm hmm. These. Oh, <gasps> don't tell mom. There you are around the bathroom stuff again. Nope. Move away. Move away. Move Keep away. on moving. Yeah. That's a just a small little, little glass. Yeah. Glass. Yep. So, anyways. Oh, that's cute. I feel like I've seen that heart um, thing before. Yes, that was a very pop popular thing. What okay. Hey, you know what? This is one of the things that I picked up. I really like this. I had one hand, so I'm like, "Hey, Matt, gonna need your help here." Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I got it. So this is a little wooden box. You came over and I handed it to you. And it was just like a little painted wooden box. And I think it was 99 cents. Isn't that nifty? Yeah, and it was signed by the person who painted it. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to take that. that nifty, is, thrifty. Yeah, that is thrifty cute. Nifty. So I gave that to you. Oh, what does that happen to be there? Is that a tart warmer, Sonia? It is. Is that an apple crate tart warmer? I beamed right over to this one. I can't say I've ever seen this style before. Are you hungry for <gasps> apples? Oh my gosh! What? Do you see what's written in the bottom? No. Sensi. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not another oh, sorry. Sensi oh, I'm tart sorry. warmer that I left behind when those are highly collectible. No! What are you doing? I don't know. I mean, you turned it over and looked at it. I know I did. I was excited. Oh, it's a tar warmer. It looks like an apple basket. Never seen one like that before. That's cool. Should I get it? And, you know, you just, your your eyeballs, it's all eye candy when you're out and about. And I left it. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe. Oh, uh, these are going to haunt me forever. Maybe your brain has a uh, sensi block on it. It must. <laughs> I got to get that fixed. So you found this piece here. Yeah, it's a little candle holder. You can like swing around. It's a little dial. Oh, there's his buddy. You, yeah, there's you found buddy. that. I'm like, oh, I need that. Yeah, uh, partner. Yeah, twins. Twins, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, uh, oh yeah, the, the swivel uh, candle holder, it's basically like a it's like a dowel, wasn't it? Like yeah. one, the top part fits into the base. Yeah, you we can did pop pick it, it up. Out. Yeah. I debate it painting it or not. Tell me below if you think I should or if I should just leave it that um, natural wood look, but I am going to post that for resale. And it kind of reminded me of a half moon or the base of a globe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The swivel on a globe. Love this. You know I love anything flowers. It had a chip in the center. I don't know if you could pick it up in the camera or not. I didn't see it. The only reason I left it there. Oh, these things. Why would somebody do that? What? Put shells in the bottom of a can. You know how bad that stinks? Because they... Have you ever burnt a seashell before? 
No, can't say I have. You want to talk about stink. Really? Yeah, that stinks, man. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it was just obviously for design. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I get worried this about... This thing here. This is... candles. This is the 1950s tiki... I'm like, don't touch Polynesian it. thing personified. It's a lamp. Yeah, the that little was that red handmade? light. Uh, no, I think that was actually a 50s, you know, that South Pacific Polynesian trend that they had going on, the whole tiki luau thing, mm. the fascination with Hawaii and Polynesian culture, okay. sea life, you know. It was interesting. Yep. Interesting, though, by the way, if, yeah, if you ever see something and you're, and you're just short for words, the best word to use is, that was interesting. <laughs> That's a that's a pro tip. That's a journalist pro tip. Yes, it is. <laughs> if a journalist, if you ever hear a journalist say that's interesting, that's a lack of words. I'm not sure how to describe it. <laughs> exactly. They're looking to. They're just buying themselves time. Perfect. To say that. The perfect answer. Yep. That little. That little. Say it with me. That little. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Pottery beehive looking piece. All right. That was interesting. Yes, it was very interesting. <laughs> That way you don't say, ah, you just say, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yes. Yep, absolutely. See, everybody. So next time it. you go to say, ah, and you're talking to somebody, say, that's interesting. Or you just don't know how to respond. You yeah. Say, Give me a moment. Let me think about that. That was the... That's interesting. Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. I think they got it by now. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing this is a, um, what do you call it? Ashtray? Yeah. Ashtray. I think so. Okay. Oh, I like this piece. I was debating getting this piece, Telefloro. It's obviously and like a newer piece and stuff, but I thought it was really cool. That's interesting. <laughs> You're not supposed to use it on me. Well, I'm just saying. I yeah. don't know what I to say. I love that mercury it's, glass yeah. look. Yeah. It was really light. It felt like it could break very easily well, and it's shatter. Telefloral, right? You know, it's only supposed still, to make it beautiful. to the delivery point. After that, oh. all butts were off. This is a neat little pottery piece. It was from China, but it was neat. We got that, and we took it. Yeah, did because she nice. did she give you a price on it up front because there was no price? I think she it. gave it to like forty nine cents. So that was I a, like it forty nine cents. Yeah, so that, that works. was interesting. Yeah, oh, you, I see what you did there. You, I took it. I took it. You, yeah, you dove right it, into that. What's that saying? I took it hook, line, and sinker. sinker. I fell yep. for it. Okay, now take note right oh. here. All right, oh. the lemons are calling. All right, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Oh, look at the butterflies, Matt. This will make you smile. I couldn't get quite to that painting just yet because there was a lady standing below it. So I want to give her her space. We're social distancing. Uh, you, so I'm just around the corner going, please, lady, don't fall in love with my lemon painting because there's a story. So I'm just down here, you know, <laughs> checking out the butterflies. They're cute. Let's just look back here in a second. If you would have said that, I would have, like, you know, hip-checked her out of the way and you would have... Could have grabbed that real quick. <laughs> no, I was waiting my turn. Um, yeah. So I'm just like hanging back Full here. Full contact oh, thrifting. Wait. Oh, you're funny. That's going to be a new sport you watch. This is a cool little set here. Somebody had taken books. They spray painted them. I was trying to identify what the books are because sometimes you can find old books that are valuable that actually, are wrapped up. Actually, we did. Uh, yeah. On a side, little side stop. Maybe we'll have to show ago. them, yeah. uh, show them that separately. That we did find a great book um, recently Absolutely. in a stack like that. Hey, I think that's one of those tacos where you put our taco holders, where you put it in the back of the dinosaur. That's interesting. I would like a set of those. Okay. Yeah. Here's an old school dressing chair. Okay. Here's the deal. We take this, we paint it, we put baskets inside. Oh, for the desk behind it. But this is the point where I'm, I'm talking to you in the front, aren't I? And I'm looking at the I'm asking chair. you, what is this? What is this metal thing here? Fourteen ninety nine as is. You have all your accessories on there. You have your little suit and everything. You sit down and put your socks on. So it's like there. a vintage... Yeah, um, it's a dressing chair for men, yeah. Interesting. Did I feel like this is like interesting? You did. You did. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Now, so. the, now the audience knows you're lying to them. <laughs> No, it's just that you just, I just don't know how to describe that. Well, that's cool. An old vintage piece. So this, I loved this um, stand. It's not an entertainment it was old, stand. Yeah. No, it was like a, it was like a, a secretary-ish uh, type yeah. thing. Yeah. And it was, it was probably worth a lot, but it was missing the oh, front. Oh, it's beautiful. Love that. Yeah. You're missing the front. Uh, I think that has skeleton key. Yeah. You see how big that lock is? Yep. opening is there yeah the drawer would have dropped down okay 
So here's the deal. We're in the back of the store. This and guess is, what? This is what I live with, people. The last time I was here at the store, this was up on one of those shelves up against the wall. I even went and found a lady That's to come take it familiar. down for me. She wasn't tall enough. She couldn't find a ladder for me. We had no idea what the price was. And Matt was like, I don't want the lemon tree. I'm not in love with the lemon tree. And I'm like, I love the lemon tree. I left it. I was in the parking lot. Today, Do you remember me saying to you, I'm like, I, I just want that lemon tree so bad. There's a blatant ripoff of Toy Story right there. Corn Story Maze. Yes. Well, the lemons are now mine, and For guess a dollar. what the tag was on the back? It was yellow. It was yellow. Not a dollar. Hey, Wasn't it 99 cents? I'm no, happy. it was a dollar. Yep. All right. Who's, who's going to quibble over, you know, a cent? Yeah, that potato, I like him, too. 1965. I'm just not sure what I put in, in potatoes. him. Potatoes! Mashed potatoes and stuff, right? But I feel like I need a bunch so we could all enjoy it. Well, you pick them up one at a time because we even found a big mashed potato bowl that looked like a potato. I thought somebody was staring at me here. They were. 